So if you weren't here, if you weren't here on Monday, uh, take a few minutes to uh, take a few minutes to review the essay that's in front of you. The majority of you were already here, and we talked about uh, what it was you all were supposed to do. Um, we are going to do a little collaborating and presenting today. Pass that around. Two, three. Four. Pass that around. Two, three, four, five, two. Three, four. Pass those around. What group are you in? Okay. All right, we're going to be doing something today called. Well, we should have passed it around. He's being selfish. All right, we're going to do an activity called uh, the hamburger method. All right, the hamburger method. All right, and so for the most part, at the very beginning, like I always do when we do these activities, I'll kind of give you a, the gist of it. And so the question is, what is the hamburger method? All right, it is called the hamburger method, and here, here's how it works. When offering a critique, you begin with a constructive compliment on something the person does well, otherwise known as the fluffy bun part. All right. You then get to the meat of the matter, which of course is the constructive criticism part. Finally, you end with another constructive compliment, i.e. the other half of the fluffy bun. Basically, you're sandwiching the constructive criticism between two constructive compliments. All right? It is an extremely effective technique, largely due to its disarming effect. It helps people let down the guard and receive criticism without being on the defensive. All right, so we're doing, this activity that we're doing is going to be called the hamburger method. So what are we doing? All right, what we're doing is, and as you see in the middle of that page, we have um, an example or a picture that demonstrates exactly what we're supposed to be doing. All right, as you see, there's a picture of a hamburger. There's an arrow pointing towards the top bun. There's an arrow pointing towards the middle bun, I mean the middle, the meat part. And then there's an arrow pointing towards the bottom bun, all right? And so the top bun is a constructive complement. The meat, the main part of the, the, of the hamburger is what we call the constructive criticism. And then finally, the bottom bun is another example of a constructive compliment. All right, so basically, you start out with something positive, start out with a compliment, you move on to the criticism, and then you end with another compliment. All right, so. Compliment, our first compliment is that the writer of the paper had evidence to support this topic. What kind of right. evidence? What kind of evidence? Um, well, towards a lot of, he brought up other authors who also talked about the same thing. Okay. Um, our criticism is that he's against the writer of the article, Robert L. Maggins, who said that the children from single parent households are likely to have behavior problems because they tend to like economic security and adequate time with parents. So you can actually see how that would be a problem with a single child. Our second compliment is that the writer learned from his learned from experience because he came from a single parent household, and that's pretty much all we have to say. The author had a great paragraph structure, the way they opened it, uh, solid introduction, rhetorical uh, questions, and the way that they progressed with their points getting stronger and the reputations worse and uh, with a strong improvement. So overall, it was a good paper, I think. Um, one thing we did criticize, though, is one of the paragraphs, I think it was paragraph eight, I think they started to get a little bit off topic to get that could have been taken out. And um, another compliment is the reputation, the detail they went in, which is sounding good. Okay, okay. At, so kind of pull out the essay kind of quickly as we wrap it up. Um, we talk about, all right, did this essay, based on what we've read, based on the compliments and the criticisms that you took a look, that you looked at, did this essay achieve the two goals that we are to accomplish? Yes. All right, which and what are our goals? State a clear position. 
Yeah. All right, and win the respect of our audience by dealing with the, the opposite or the, oppos the opposing view or the opposition, all right, refutation, all right? So we can, we can all agree that this essay does achieve those two goals. Yeah. Okay.